Hi, I'm Adam. I'm the founder of Project Blue and I'm also a third-year mechanical engineering student at DLSU Manila. So Project Blue is a non-profit, non-governmental organization that I started last December 2020 that focuses on SDG 14 and our tagline is More Than Cleanups in which we aim to raise awareness and provide sustainable solutions on ocean pollution and marine conservation. So we all know that there are lots of trash on the ocean, at the coast, uh, river lines, and in the water itself. And most of these trash are actually plastics. 80% of the trash in the ocean are plastics. And we just throw these plastics away. And we don't really get to recycle or reuse them again. But we all know that plastic is a fundamental piece of the society. We can't live without it. It's a society changing technology. It's lightweight, it's cheap, it's very versatile. But there's really, uh, especially disposable plastics, it gets thrown a lot, especially in the ocean. And whenever I went to the ocean, when I surfed, when I dived before, and until now actually, most of these trash that I see are plastics. And one of these plastics is PET bottles. And these bottles actually, they take 500 years to decompose or to biodegrade. And that means around five to six generations of people. There are no small steps towards change. Every step is a big step. So the main goal of the project is of course to reuse these trash that we, we see on the ocean, on the coastlines, inside the water itself and turn them into something useful because we all know that there are lots of plastics. Some plastics can be recycled but these recyclables, all of them don't really get recycled and a lot stay in the water, a lot kill marine creatures, damage uh, the ecosystems and the environment overall. Uh, so the main purpose is to use these trash into something useful and in this case it's a boat can be used for nearshore fishing, can be used for flooding, which is very, very vital because rescue boats are actually quite expensive. But when you use trash and sustainable materials like bamboo, it's very cheap. Uh, all you need is manpower and time. Actually, I want to inspire everyone, every single one, watching this, seeing the boats, seeing our Facebook posts, our social media posts, every single one because as we learn about the problem one by one we get to educate others as well because there is very little awareness on this very huge problem actually the philippines is the number one contributor to the global ocean plastic pollution we contribute to more than one-third of all the plastics in the ocean and that's a lot considering how small our country is although we may have quite the population but once everyone knows about this very huge problem, then we will be able to collaborate with each other and form solutions just like this one. But of course, with the direct people that I want to inspire with this project, of course I want to inspire the youth, the kids, the future generation, and the people, the locals living in coastlines. So if we start from them, then it's going to come a long way. So this may be a very innovative and useful project, but it doesn't have to be this big or it doesn't have to be this innovative for you to make a change. Because every step you do, every little step you do, be it sharing social media posts, talking with your friends, your family about this problem, every step is a big step. patapon at palutang-lutang na plastic bottles sa dagat. Binigyan ng bagong gamit ng isang engineering student mula sa De La Salle University. 
If you think discarded plastic bottles can no longer be used, well, think again. There's a group out there that's turning these bottles into boats.